Give you that starting 11 for the Hatters then. 4 2 3 1, as always at the moment. It's Ben Hinchliff in goal, a back four of Dan Cowan, Ash Palmer, who's got the captain's armband this afternoon, Jamie Stott, and Scott Duxbury. Two holding midfielders in Jordan Keane and Sam Walker. Adam Thomas plays on the right wing, Darren Stevenson down the left, and Elliot Osborne plays in the hole behind Niall Bell, who scored two goals in his last three outings. Substitutes for the Hatters this afternoon, goalkeeper Ian Ormson, of course, alongside Paul Turnbull, Frank Mulhern, who apparently has trained really well this week, Sam Minihan and Matty Warburton. The two loaning, loan signings have been left out of the 16. Jason Gilchrist and Lewis Baines are the odd men out. And let's hope he gets the bit between his teeth today. We're underway at Edgar Street, opening 30 seconds. The home side on the front foot, but Jamie Stott's there to mop up. Finds Osborne, plays it through the gap for Thomas. Oh, it's a terrible tackle by Greenslade on Thomas. He's taken his ankles away. It's a shocker. I tell you what. That's potentially a red card, this, Chris. You don't usually see that kind of tackle in the opening stages of the game. Now, usually in this kind of scenario, if it's just a booking, the referee wow. makes a point of taking a yellow card out early. He's not done that on this. I, I think, I hope I'm wrong, but I think he's going to get away with the talking to here. That's an Adam, outrageous tackle. I'm pleased tackle. to say Adam is back on his feet. That's a horrible tackle, and it's not even a yellow Hatter's left-hand side. County, by the way, kicking from left to right as we look at it towards the home end. Duxbury's cross now towards Bell. Gowling got a good head on it to send it back where it came from. County still have it, though. Duxbury to Walker, who prods it in. Chested down by uh, Adam Thomas, but uh, Osborne unable to make anything of it. County still have it, halfway line. Good challenge by Palmer. Walker, lovely ball through the gap now for Stevenson. Gets the return from Osborne. Needs some support from midfield. He decided to go on his own. Stevenson's cross. Niall Bell lets it run. Adam Thomas just over the bar. County close, but it stays nil-nil here on Imagine. County's fourth corner of the day. Sam Walker to take. Left-footed in-swinger from County's number eight. Glanced on towards the far post. It's still loose on the edge of the box. Keane will retrieve it for County. He's got support from Osborne. The shot's on for Osborne. He's taken too long. Plays it back out to the wing for Keane to fire across the face of goal. Palmer was lurking. Spennymore's season imploding. County throw, left side. Duxbury gets the return. He's taken on the fullback. It's a decent cross towards the far post. It's headed over the bar by Dan Cowan. Some some workers want to clear the ball. <laughs> as, as you quite rightly say, he's taken one in the... Uh... In the sensitive. Terrible foul there on Dan Cowan on this near side. And finally, finally, the referee is going to take some action. And Mike Simmons is going to be shown a yellow card here, Chris. They also reached the second round of the FA Cup where they took Fleetwood to a replay. So it's a side that's used to winning. But uh, they're up against the Hatters this afternoon, a side that's definitely used to winning. As Jamie Stock fires the ball into the Bulls penalty area, it's comfortably cleared, but County will come again. It's one-way traffic at the moment. County well on top, but unable to make the breakthrough. Maybe Thomas can unlock this uh, home defence as he finds Elliot Osborne. Edge of the box, chips it through the gap for Cowan to drive in. Oh, cleared off the line. It was Bell with a flick. Hickman was on the line. He glanced it away. The first attempt on target this afternoon. And Hereford survive, it stays nil-nil. Yeah, slightly eyebrow raising. You look at that bottom three and you think that's how it should finish, but then you see Aston United doing what they're doing against Spennymore and you think maybe it's not all set in stone yet. And Geisley could love to rule that decision. Duxbury, lovely drop of the shoulder. Oh, and a lovely diagonal ball from Duxbury. Clever pass along the deck to pick out Cowan on the right wing, who crosses first time. Stevenson's header into the box for Thomas! There's the opening goal! Adam Thomas strikes again. It's three in three for County's number seven. And the Hatters deservedly in front here. What a crucial goal that could prove to be. 26 minutes gone in Edgar Street. It's Hereford nil, County one. Adam Thomas has taken that really, really well. And he's at the game today. 
That's not his first chance at goal. He's looking for it. He knows he's scoring consecutive goals now. Uh, and all of a sudden, Adam Thomas is the goal threat. He's not really been this season. They deserve county lead now to crack on and put this game to bed early. <laughs> well, we, we, a few weeks ago, we were saying that the, the two wide men, Darren Stevenson and Adam Thomas, they do their jobs well, but they need to contribute more in terms of goals and assists. Adam Thomas has stepped up to that mark tremendously well. Uh, in the last three games, and what a finish that is today. He's oh, and here's Stevenson today. away down the left hand side. The referee's played a good advantage as he crosses to Niall Bell. He's just <laughs> made it two. County have doubled their lead here. Niall Bell smashes home from close range. It's Hereford nil, County two. Two goals in a minute from the Hatters, and Niall Bell's done it again. Are you watching, surely? Stockport County are travelling up the table at tremendous speed. The quick break, Darren Stevenson, we were just saying, John, how Adam Thomas is contributing. Well, there's Darren Stevenson, a breakaway. He actually could have gone down for a foul there. The referee gave him the advantage. He swung a delightful ball into Adam Thomas. And now those top four county fans feel they're in this title race. Just look at exhibit A in front of us. This all ticket clash is one way traffic at the moment. But Jordan Keane has just been caught in possession inside his own half by Rowan Lyberd setting Simmons away and Simmons now down the inside left finding Greenslade on the wing what a ball from Greenslade right across the face of County's goal 4-2-3-1 passes with Hinchlip in goal back four of Callum Palmer Stott and Duxbury as the home side come forward a shot from distance dips over the bar County have this uh, opportunity from the dead ball which Elliot Osborne will take Plenty in the box to aim at. It's gone beyond the ball and sliding in at the far post. Ash Palmer couldn't make the contact. The goalkeeper missed it completely, but so did Ash Palmer. It's kept alive by Niall Bell. Cowan, oh dear me, foul on Jamie Stock, I should say, brought down. And Spennymore still three down at Ashton United as Duxby, what a cross! Thomas was brave, he couldn't quite get the header on target, but it comes out to the edge of the area now. It's with... Uh, Osborne, great shot, great save, corner to County. By Matt Yates, corner to County, their eighth of the day, and it's going to be Elliot Osborne to take this. Right-footed in-swinger towards Jamie Stott, should have done better, wide of the target, it stays 2-0 to County. And they've really packed the County penalty area for the throw-in. Lybird launches, glancing header, and there's a goal. One Lybird to the other. The long throw from Jordan Lybird was glanced on and it's a goal on his home debut for Rowan Lybird who hooks it home with 64 minutes gone. It's Hereford who pulled the goal back. Hereford 1, County 2. <laughs> oh, the 16th, oh, we won't be too worried about the home fans then. <laughs> we should say, John, we are, we are surrounded. But we don't but care. We can remind them of facts whenever we like. The first shot on target has led to a goal for the Bulls. Jim Gannon will be disappointed, County failing to defend the long throw and here come Hereford again, the shot from distance is tipped over the bar brilliantly by Ben Hinchliff. The home side are back in it and they've got themselves a corner on the far side, a right footed in swinger headed away powerfully by Ash Palmer, comes out to the edge of the box for Richards again to fire it in, deflected out to the wing for Owen Evans, gets away from Thomas, pulls it back from the dead ball line. And then a complete miscue from Theo Wharton, wide of the target. County lead 2-1, but the Bulls have got a bit of belief. Nancy Warburton seems to be the left-hand side. Has taken the place of Darren Stevenson. Lybird flicks it through. This is a chance for two each. What a save from Hinchliff as he backs that one away. What an opportunity that was for James Waite as the county defence switched off. Waite, the substitute, was sent through. Now at the other end, county on the counter-attack. It's Mulhern to Warburton, whose touch seems to have deserted him. Overhit across or uh, not really put 100% thought into a pass. And too many times they've put the ball out of play there. And that says, if they're going to get excited about coming forward, they've got to do it right. What wow, out, Mulhern sent through. This is a chance. Did he use his arm? No, says the referee. He's turned it back to Elliot Osborne, who can shoot from here. He's fired it way over the top of the bar. Poor attempt from Osborne from Hereford's number three. And he's kept uh, Frank Mulhern at bay. The clearance from the keeper flicked on by Simmons. 
Owen Evans looking to get in behind. Owen Evans has been forced wide by Turnbull. Good defending by the county substitute. But Owen Evans has come inside now into the penalty area. Oh, he's pulled it across the face of goal. It's an own goal. Hereford have pulled a goal back. It's gone in on the goal line. What about that? Well, it seems all around us. Yeah, and Hereford are going to enjoy that. They've really put everything forward in this half. As Hereford can enjoy that, you're still down the league, though, as County are still challenging for top spot. Throw into Hereford. The ball's on the front foot, down the left flank. But I think Hereford will feel they deserve at least a point for their second half going. There goes the final whistle. It's a point for County this afternoon. They're still playing at Victory Park. It's Chorley 1. Telford 1 and here it's finished Hereford 2, County 2.